Good morning. It's a cold, snowy, wintry day here on the homestead. So today I decided would be a great day to make some homemade bread. Now I'm sure on previous videos I mentioned I cannot make homemade bread, yeast bread. Anything that requires yeast, requires any kind of raising time, it doesn't happen. Quick breads, cakes, pies, you know, anything else, I'm all over. You know, I'm your gal. Bread, eh, not so much. So several weeks ago, I was talking to a dear friend and um, I told her straight up, your bread looks great. My bread never really is even edible. You know, Mark eats, Mark eats it to be kind, but honestly, it isn't something that you would just want to write home to mom about zero bragging rights. She said, Bev, go on YouTube, look at my recipe, watch my video. She said, I guarantee you, your bread will be a success. And I'm like, yeah, right. Okay. Well, because, you know, someone else told me to, I kind of had to do it. It worked. It was amazing. It rose up nice and full and beautiful, perfectly golden. So, you know, okay, one hit wonder, right? I did it again. I made the recipe four times. It works. So today, this is a tribute to Peggy over at Paige Family Homestead. This is her recipe. This is her technique. For the most part. You know, for the most part. And I give her full credit for me being able to make homemade bread. I have not bought one single loaf of bread since I learned how to do this recipe. So I'm going to bring you in, show you how we do it. Today, we're making bread on the homestead. Thank you, Peggy. This is for you. First off, I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And the first thing we need is two cups of warmish to hot water. You want it to be roughly roughly 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's get the water. So while my water is getting hot and I'm just running it in the tap, um, let it run for a minute or two and that's pretty much as warm as you need it to be. So here in my terrific brand new mixing bowl my daughter and son-in-law got me for Christmas. I'm going to add two packets of yeast. Now I use fast rising. You can use the rapid rise. You can use um, you can use the active yeast. You know the one that takes a little longer to raise. But today I'm just using fast rising and I will share the link to I'll share the link to um, Peggy's recipe so you can watch her video and um, she uses she uses um, like bulk yeast so um, I figured out that two packages equals about the same amount that she uses. To that, um, we're going to add four tablespoons of sugar. 
And four tablespoons of sugar sounds like an awful lot, but this does make two loaves of bread. Okay, let's get our two cups of water. And I should have just put all this in where I was going to let the uh, yeast raise. So we'll just give that a few minutes. Give it a little stir. And that sugar will feed the yeast and make it all nice and foamy and bubbly. So I'm going to pause the video here, give this about five minutes to get nice and foamy and bubbly and active, and then we'll proceed with the rest of the recipe. Alrighty, my yeast, as you can see, is all nice and foamy. It's all nice and activated. Look how beautiful. So, the recipe calls for five to six cups of flour. I usually start with three at a time. And you just want to work it until it's a soft dough. You don't want it like sloppy sticky, but just enough sticky to where it's a soft dough. So first to my bowl, I'm adding one quarter of a cup of oil. I'm using vegetable oil. You can use any kind of oil as long as it doesn't have any kind of flavor. And we need one and a half teaspoons of salt. Okay, now we're going to start Mix it in just a little bit of flour. And I'm using my one cup measure just so I can keep track of exactly how many cups I've put in. Okay, we'll get that mixed up a little bit. You want to make sure you get the salt all incorporated before you pour in your yeast mixture. Otherwise, the salt will kill your yeast. So there's my three cups that I'm going to start with. Three cups of flour. Now Miss Peggy uses a stand mixer with a dough attachment. I didn't want to drag mine out, so I'm doing it by hand. Okay, now we'll add the yeast mixture. And get this all stirred up. And it will be lumpy. At, at this point, it will be lumpy, but those lumps will eventually start incorporating. Okay. 
Okay, there's four cups. And you can see where that dough is already starting to come into a very nice consistency. Now, at this point, I'm only going to add about a half a cup at a time of flour because you don't want this too dry. Now you can see this dough has come together, but it's still very tacky. And that's with four and a half cups of flour. So I'm going to stop adding right here and I'm going to clean off my surface. Give it a good wipe down. And I'm just going to start incorporating a little bit more flour at a time. And then just gently start kneading it together. Take your bench scraper if you need to, to help you Get every drop. A little bit more flour on my hands. Now, when you are making this dough by hand, you want to knead it exactly 100 times. One hundred. Okay, now, oh my, what a beautiful ball of dough. So now we are just going to cover this and let it rest for five minutes. So just leave it for five minutes. Alrighty, the timer is just about to go off. There's maybe about 30 seconds. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it. Look how nice and soft that dough is. Now I am going to, I'm going to take my bench scraper and just divide it in half. Set one half aside for a minute. Just a little sprinkle of flour so we can spread this out a little bit.
shape it a little bit into a rectangle. You don't want to work it too much and we're just gonna fold it, roll it back up over itself. And I have my bread pan sprayed with um, cooking spray. So gently take your bread, put it in the center of your bread pan Okay, are you ready to see the prettiest loaves of bread like ever? Here we have perfectly risen, just a plain loaf. You want to see the cheddar loaf? There you go. Now, these are going to go into the oven for roughly 30 minutes. My oven, it'll, it'll take 30 minutes. Your oven may take 25 or it may take as much as 40. But what you are looking for when you take it out of the oven is for a nice golden crown. And when you thump it, it sounds a little hollow. So I'm gonna put these in the oven. I'll bring you back when they're done. Okie dokie. So the cheddar bread is finished. It's done baking. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the plain white bread is going to need about another three minutes. But I can go ahead and show you the cheddar bread. There you go. Is that not the prettiest bread? And this is the sound that you want to hear. It sounds kind of hollow. That means it's perfectly done. So from Urban Homesteading Channel, I'm Bev, and today we made homemade bread. Thank you, Peggy, over at Page Family Homestead for the great recipe. So far, it hasn't failed me yet. I'll catch you later.